Hey, my fellow gem gems. So I'm here to do the reading for the week of the 12th until the 18th um, for yourselves. So these will be extended readings if you want this particular reading, the extended to this one. Um, it's If you go in the description box below, you can hit the Vimeo link. And if you want access to all of the extenders, to bonus readings, like choose a deck, that type of thing, you can hit us up on Patreon, that's in the link in the description box as well. Um, you can check your mini rise in Venus every single week. Um, and check on other people's if you want. So, I'm going to dive straight into Gemini. I'm going to use the Psychic Oracle deck. Uh, I'm going to be clarifying before I go into the extended. So, Gemini from the week 12th to the 18th. Emotional withdrawal. And it's a number eight. So there is a lot of karmic energy at the moment, you know, with this Saturn retrograde and we're still in the shadow of the uh, Mercury retrograde as well. So this week is about focusing on emotional withdrawal. You know, kind of, you may feel like you just want to chill out. I don't really want to talk to anybody. I just want to spend time on my own, you know, that type of energy. Um, but not in a negative way, not in a way that you're feeling down. But I just kind of feel like this week is going to be an energy of rest and rejuvenation for yourself. Maybe after all this Mercury retrograde energy, because I'm feeling you if you're there. So what's crossing that energy? Rejoicing celebrations. <laughs> That's the challenge. So some of my Geminis may have celebrations coming up this week. Um, you know, it may be your birthday. You know, that type of energy and really you just want to just chill. The challenge could be that the fact that you just you're not feeling sociable, you know. So sometimes we've got to, but it's okay to say no. It's okay not to answer the phone. It's okay to lock the door, shut the curtains, and have a Netflix. You you know that type of energy. Um, but I feel like you might be pulled to feel like you should do what's best for you this week, Gemini. Why is this coming around now? Yeah, we've got that shadow energy, which is the moon. Uh, I can feel like you don't want to cause any ripples. That's happening here. But um, the moon is about releasing the fears that are holding you back. And it's, you know, it's it sheds light on the darker areas in life. That type of thing. So you maybe feel like you there's a need to retreat inwards. You know, maybe there's some work coming up around you, like inside you that needs to be worked on so you're dealing you know with the spiritual self and the ego and you know so i do feel like you're kind of all into yourself and you really can't be bothered faking a smile and you know and it's not in the sense that you're not happy it's just the fact that do i really want to i just want to find a good film or a good book have a bubble bath just want to be on my own and there's a power in being on your own there's a power of getting to that point where you can be on your own you know so if you've hit that well done a lot of people don't get there that easy you know in the past we do have the wheel of destiny spinning in your favor um so and again she's got her hands on her heart and in the past it feels like you've been going around in circles maybe you've been kind of losing yourself maybe you've been losing yourself in the need to you know that like kind of well I, I need to i should do you know that's happened jim feeling bad on other people but that's about, that's kind of like losing yourself and now it's all about me and i'm dealing with man you know hands on the heart i'm dealing with my healing so i feel like the wheel of fortune is spinning energy wise for yourself gemini this week at present memories of love so you could be dealing with issues with people from the past loved ones from the past you know um this it's the six of cups it can also be issues regarding children i kind of want to say more it's about the past so maybe you are like kind of nursing wounds from the past this retrograde energy is maybe like bringing things up from the past and you're kind of not feeling really sociable because you're dealing internally with the things that are coming up and that's okay, you know. Could be dealing with someone else from the past. You know, someone coming back from the past. We're still in that shadow energy of Mercury. And it is our ruling planet, you know. So you could be dealing with someone else from the past. Or there could be emotional triggers that are coming up. Um, in regards to people from the past that you've... You know, or situations where you've done a lot of healing. 
to come away from that energy but by the end of the week we're going to recognition and reward you know so i do feel like you're being he stood there on his own and again i'm going to say there's a power in being able to stand on your own um and i feel like that's where the reward comes in you know the karmic energy does bring about award, awards and rewards when we've learned the lessons and gone inward you know it's number three so ascended masters spirit guards that type of thing so if you are guided to go inwards this way that's fine chill chill out you've got 30 free actually you've got free free and now you've got free 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 <laughs> i think last week it was five 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 now you've got free 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 ascended masters spiritual guards take the wisdom check out the angel number free 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 your power is your solar plexus so it's to go with your gut instinct it's to go with what you feel here rather than what you think you should do so be guided by your intuition this week gemini because it looks really strong and um, there could be some funky dreams coming in um if you meditate there could be some good downloads that type of energy outside influence is hope the outside influence i feel like someone's delivering hope but I, again i'm gonna say spirit um so someone may pop in your mind a past loved one with the memories of love and i feel like maybe they've got a message for you you know so do try and meditate whatever comes to mind go with it you know trust that instinct if something comes up and it triggers a memory of someone from the past and you know that type of thing so there could actually be an anniversary of someone who's um sadly passed over um but i feel it's like newfound hope i feel like spirit are delivering a message to have hope as you move forward so this week is about embracing that you know we can't always see what's in the shadows we can't see when people have passed over we, you know we, we don't see them around us but we do feel them in the hopes and faith position we've got foundations and achievements you want to be able to achieve you want to be able to set firm foundations for yourself maybe you're going to see spiritual signs you know in the clouds in the rainbows that type of energy go with it it's a really nice energy this week gemini i, I absolutely love it and i do feel like that the veil is really thin for yourselves this week between the world of you know the spirit and us um it is about four it is about security and abundance and you know feeling safe and secure but i do feel like the emphasis is on your surroundings where you are so you may want to go on a spring clean you may want to clean you know clear things out smudge your home sage you know that type of energy um focus in the home and that's the type of energy that i was getting at the beginning of the reading maybe you're not feeling like i don't really want to go out and celebrate i kind of just want to have a bubble bath and a read a book or an early night you know and go with it if that's what you want go with it your outcome is your third eye chakra and passion ignited so by the end of the week it's almost like you you've done this downtime you know you've received the message you've uh you're ready to move on to the next part you know so the third eye chakra is about seeing the bigger perspective of things and i feel like this week is a week where you're going to kind of realize just how small the the world the earth is compared to the universe you know so i do feel like there's going to be some really good insights especially in a spiritual capacity um a lot of downloads a lot of like seeing the truth of situations and why things have happened that way because it's turning into a power so then you get this like newfound passion the week after you know so as the end of this week goes so maybe as you're going into next weekend that's when you'll be ready to celebrate and i feel like i shouted at you then um that's when you'll be ready to celebrate that's when you you know so take that downtime if you need that downtime that's where we heal that's that's sometimes we just need that you know away from everyone else's stuff in order to hear our own messages so you may feel a bit hermited this week totally fine hermit goes inwards to do the work but then you're coming out with bang passion ignited so it's like newfound hope again so i'm going to get a bit of clarity on this and then i'm going to go into the extended but i do love it so the emotional withdrawal it's probably the um <laughs> first reading that i don't forget now that there's not been drama the world and this is exactly what i was seeing you know like i do feel like you kind of 
feeling comforted this week by realizing just how vast the universe is the world is um you know feeling like well there is something else and something gives you this like newfound faith in life but it's it's about healing the in inside and being okay on your own and rest the four of swords rest and rejuvenation I, I am getting this like meditative energy you know um maybe you'll be sleeping more maybe you know you may be feeling a bit tired um a bit tired you may be feeling drained you know but it is all about rest and it's about you know kind of like emptying the bank vault of the busy thoughts and things like that and just being at peace for a few days and i feel like that's your energy this week that's what you want so then we do have the six of cups pick someone from the past um and that's in the shadow energy with the moon could have been dealing with the parsees but we've got someone from the past and we've got the five of cups in reverse oh i said that at 11 minutes and 11 seconds so the five of cups in reverse is kind of maybe there's been heartbreaks from the past and that's happening but this week you kind of get like an you see it with fresh eyes and there's no regrets and you kind of go through maybe there's an element of grief within you this week and by the end of the week it's like i want to celebrate their life now now i'm ready to celebrate you know i want to celebrate the fact that i got out of away from that past person that past relationship so now i'm ready to celebrate because now i've processed it so i do feel like this week is a massive energy for yourselves to process what's going on and what has been going on in order for you to see things differently by the end of the week so i'm going to dig a lot deeper and see exactly what is going on here for gemini but if this is where i leave you i'll leave you with lots of love and if i'm meeting you on the extended i'll be over there now bye oh ice cream fan go and get an ice cream <laughs>